Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The Kyungi Provincial Government recently decided to make a third disaster basic income payment to all residents of the province. Announcing this plan at a press conference on August 13th, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung stated that making the payment to all provincial residents without exception will supplement and expand upon a comparable payment being made by the Korean central government. This third disaster basic income payment of 250,000 Korean won per person matches the amount of the fifth disaster relief payment being made by the central government. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police apprehended a number of restaurants for illegal practices, including the false representation of Japanese marine products as being domestic in origin. A total of 85 false country of origin labeling cases have been identified at 57 restaurants. 47 cases involving products of Japanese origin, 37 cases involving products of Chinese origin, and one case involving products of Russian origin. Recognizing public concern following the release of radioactive water from the ill-fated nuclear power plant in Japan, the province also ordered radioactivity tests on 32 randomly selected Japanese fishery products and confirmed that all were within permissible limits. On August 18th, Kyungi Province, the Kyungi Provincial Office of Education, and IBM Korea signed an agreement to cooperate in the establishment and promotion of an artificial intelligence school. According to this agreement, the two Kyungi authorities will cooperate in the provision of administrative support for school operation, the recruitment of enterprises and schools to participate in P-TECH education, and the identification of various innovative vocational education models. The Kyungi AI School will offer a comprehensive five-year P-TECH program encompassing three-year high school and two-year junior college courses geared at cultivating AI and cloud computing specialists. Graduates will be provided with internship opportunities by participating enterprises and exempted from document screening if they apply for jobs at those enterprises. Ground ivy, commonly regarded as a weed, has been transformed by a team of scientists in Kyungi Province into a valuable cosmetic effective in antioxidation, whitening, skin tone restoration, and wrinkle reduction. The Kyungi Forestry Environment Research Center recently announced that, in cooperation with a Hosa University team, it had successfully developed and verified this functional cosmetic derived from ground ivy. With commercialization procedures having been completed this past July, including a patent application based on study results, the center is currently pursuing product development for export. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to install water fountains and waste bag dispensers for dogs on riverside walks from this year. This initiative is geared to minimize public complaints regarding water fountain use and sanitation issues stemming from the growing number of dogs accompanying Riverside Walk users. While water fountains designed for human use at Riverside Parks are usually too high for dogs, dog owners who let their pets drink from these fountains often face protests from other visitors. The Kyunggi-do Fire Services announced that it has developed an online service program that enables apartment residents to view comprehensive information about their apartment rooftop doors, including security status. This service can be accessed through the related banners on the Kyunggi Province and Kyunggi-do Fire Services websites. By entering the apartment name, users can view relevant information in eight categories including rooftop emergency shelter details. Kyungi Province announced that, since 2018, it has improved fire and disaster response capabilities through the establishment of additional fire stations, known as 119 safety centers, in vulnerable areas. According to the Kyungi-do Fire Services, the number of 119 safety centers has increased by 23 during the three years since the beginning of the current Kyungi Provincial Administration's term, 
from 166 in 2017 to 189 this year. Through the establishment of more 119 safety centers, Kyungi Province has also reduced the average on-scene arrival time of firefighters by 62 seconds from 8 minutes 53 seconds in 2017 to 7 minutes 51 seconds as of the end of last year. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.